In this video, I'm going to talk about the Yu rune in the context of Fusorch. This rune has not been found in any Frisian inscriptions, so all of these examples are going to be English, with the possible exception of this one here. This was found in England, but it might be Elder Futhark. It might not have anything to do with English people. Manuscripts call this rune Ich, Ich, and Eoch. Um, now, because of the English rune poem, we can be pretty sure that this name meant you, like yew tree, and that is why it can be called the yew rune today. Manuscripts give it the value of I, H, K, EO, and EO. Among the manuscripts, this one seems to be the one that is most accurate because when this rune is found in an inscription, it does appear to be standing either for basically an I or one of the allophones of H. And in fact, this manuscript over here associates the rune so heavily with the H rune that it even gives it the name of the H rune, which is obviously some kind of mistake or innovation, but it does tell us something. It tells us that whoever wrote this manuscript probably associated this rune very heavily with the H rune and may have even considered it a variant of the H rune. Now this is obviously a very strange shape, but we can see other manuscripts which apparently agree that this can be a shape of this rune, so uh, we can identify this as the U rune based on that. Although I can't claim to be sure that this is actually the U rune here, but given the context of this manuscript it seems mm, very likely. So looking now at how the rune was actually used, we can see it standing for probably an E sound in the name here, Yisel Howard. Um, in this inscription, its value is hard to guess, but it seems pretty obvious that it is a vowel of some sort. Over here, it is obviously a kind of H type sound in the word Almechti. So uh, in the IPA alphabet, you can draw that sound like this. And this is an allophone of the H sound. Um, and you see something similar over here in this word here, Toroch Treda. You can see the rune here. Over here, it is some kind of vowel, probably E. Uh, this here, no one has deciphered or made much sense of this one here. Um, as far as I know, it's just a very strange inscription. So... I'm not going to comment too much on it. Uh, kind of a similar deal over here in this inscription. It might be a vowel or it might be a semi-vowel. I don't know. Here and here the rune appears. Well, here and uh, over here. But these are just rune rows, so they don't tell us what value the rune has. In both of these examples, the rune is... Uh, facing this direction, and you can find it with this same shape in Elder Futhark. So I don't think that's a mistake. The rune could appear in either of these directions. Over here, it appears in the diphthong I. And yeah, this might just be a, a classic example of an Elder Futhark I diphthong. It might not be English at all. As far as I know, this inscription has not been deciphered, so I don't know what value it makes. Here's an instance of the U rune I forgot to include. It says Beona Reix, so basically King Beona. The spelling here with the U rune seems to imply a kind of X sound, but it was pointed out to me that this could just be a conservative spelling because I do believe most cases of the X type sound in Old English descend from an earlier type sound. So it could be that this was associated with the Latin x sound because people may have been using a conservative spelling which reflects this older pronunciation of many Old English words, which took on this pronunciation later. There's another case of a similar spelling like this. Uh, with the H rune followed by the S rune. 
in the word wax, which was written as wolchs. So that might be another case of a conservative spelling. Runologists still aren't sure what the point of this rune originally was. In Elder Futhark, it seems to be a redundant rune standing for the same sound as the ice rune. So some people think it used to stand for a vowel that was present in Proto-Germanic and which may have been lost somewhere along the way, making it redundant. In English, there is reason to believe it was repurposed to stand for the allophones of H. This might not be an original job of the rune. It might be a job that English people made up and gave to the rune, or possibly it was given to the rune earlier by uh, Anglo-Frisian speakers. This rune didn't survive into Younger Futhark, but strangely enough, this rune from Younger Futhark seems to have the name which this rune would have had had it survived into Younger Futhark. So maybe, for some reason, North Germanic speakers gave this rune the old name from, from this rune? Or maybe, among North Germanic speakers, this rune was always called U, or rather the equivalent of the word U in North Germanic. Um, I don't think it's possible for us to tell 